it's time we get some wheels and tires on the on the tank so uh, you can see a few of these look pretty good some of them are pretty rough we're gonna take them down to the sandblaster let them clean them up and we'll get them to powder coat and black for us um, if you saw the earlier videos we do have our three holes that are tapped for our aluminum spun hubcaps that go on there so got the tires ordered they should be here in a couple days we're gonna drop this off and then uh, we'll uh, assemble us some tires and now back from the sandblaster and powder coater not too shabby big difference i love it if you didn't notice the hair's a little bit longer and the engine isn't sitting right there it's already in the, the belly tank because that first part was recorded about three weeks ago so that was the turnaround to get the rims sandblasted and powder coated so got them now um let's get these bad boys installed first thing i need to do before we mount anything are three holes i need to run the tap through them to get the powder coat out should be a pretty easy process i already did this one just to make sure that everything went okay now i just need to line it up and run it through just to knock a little bit of the flake out Well, these look really well. And then we'll just run our screw through just to make sure we're good. Perfect. And if you watch right through here, you'll see some of the little powder coat flipping out. Some of it will fall down through the hole, but just that minor little bit through here will just wreck wreck havoc on you if you're trying to force it through without cleaning it up so only takes a minute you can see all that little stuff there we'll wipe that off now we can see our threads in there and it goes in perfect all right i'm gonna get the rest of these cleaned up real quick and then we'll start our mounts we got all the rims tapped here's a few of the tools we're going to use these bars to get it on and off got our chuck got our pressure gauge and i got these rim protectors too i've never used these so we'll see how that works we have our mr16 tube that's nice and flat so we're going to blow that up before we get it in and then we're going to use these bad boy firestones which are seven and a half by 16s and we do have two sides. I think this is the cleaner side that we're going to mount out because the inside just got our DOT numbers and mounting instructions, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to mount the pretty side out. So we're going to put there into there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up this tube. And we're going to inflate it just to try to help any of the wrinkles, make sure there's not a pinhole in it existing. And then we'll let it back out. All right. So all the wrinkles are out. We'll use our core removal tool. Tell you what these are really handy to have just make sure you don't have a lot of air pressure in this because if you unscrew it thing will launch like a cannon so we're just going to put that right back here easily now we'll get the air out of it i'm going to do this one probably in real time and the other ones i'll Probably do a time lapse or something to speed it up quite a bit and if you already know how to do this and you don't want to watch me do it skip ahead about 10 minutes fingers crossed that's if everything goes proper right, that should be pretty good to get that in put our cap on first actually i don't even need my cap right now all right let's set you aside oh our tire let's see where we at here all right just want to take our clip 
Maybe. Hey. Get over there. There you go. Again, never used these before. I don't know how this will work or not. Or if I'm going to break them. There's that one. Let's get another one up in here. Hey, there we go. Leave that one loose. Actually, I should have already got that down in there, right? And if you've never done these, you usually, usually talk to yourself quite a bit. Actually, let's take you out now. It's your... Get out of there. Okay, well, let's take... Well, let's just take you out and slide you over. How's that? You want to be difficult. And make sure the back tire... Whoop! That one. Okay. Let's see. I'm not saying it's worth it to scratch the rims, but these things are awkward. All right, a little bit. There we go. A little bite. There's that one. And. I'm back here. There we go. That one's off. Let's see here. Might be able to reuse you. Alright, there's one section in. Let's get those out. And so far those did good. They didn't break. Oh, that looks good. Now we're going to flip it this way, and we're going to end up getting our, putting our tube through here. Get a pair of vice grips real quick. Those are just in case. Sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. Now when you're doing these tubes, you got to be careful when you put them in to, you don't pinch them too bad, and that you don't twist them, because that'll really get you. Sometimes you use powder, but it looks like these already have a little bit of stuff on them so we're gonna pick it up and you're gonna start stuffing away like it's a thanksgiving turkey just try to keep your valves in pretty close to where you need it you can adjust it here shortly are kind of close which I kind of close roll that in A lot of times it's easier with two people, <laughs> but sometimes you gotta manage. Oh, yeah, I'll get in there. There. Uh, get that down. Get that down. I think we're down. Now. I'll reach in here and find the nope. and these tires are pretty new or very new so they ugh, 
need to still ow probably should set these out in the sun for a little bit let's see if we can get this here man that seems tight Where are you guys? You're here somewhere. Where'd you go? <sighs> Tires was pushing me in. Oh man, my tubes out right there I think I can't turn it where are you ignore my these and this one oh, yeah I don't know where I'm yeah so we all hail I can see it from a lot better this way oh. Always trial and error. Hold that there. Okay, we got tubes everywhere. Now we definitely want to make sure we're using our uh, protectors on this part. And when you step through, when you try to pull your tube out or put your tire in, you want to make sure that you're not pinching. Some of these you can kind of walk them a little bit. So just like that, that feels good there. And then it'll pop under here, which is what you want. And then we're gonna take our other one. Make sure we're not touching the, do with your finger, make sure you push the, the tube down a little bit there we go tell you what every tire is different too i think once we figure out this one of how it needs to go it won't be too bad i'm gonna go pop that one out and we came off let's scoot that over a little bit so we don't hit it there we go Check the tube, push it down. That off. Feel the tube, push the tube down. Ooh, did I bite too much? Yeah, a bit too much. Let's get on this one here. Tubes out of the way. There we go. Just 
tubes out of the way. Slowly. Okay. Tube, yep. that one I think maybe one more and we'll have it lit oh don't push you in there come back maybe the tube yep I feel it I don't know if I'll be able to get this in there. Yeah. The other one? Yeah. Nope. I might be able to get this. Manhandle it. Oh. There we go. All right. So there's that. We're going to put our core back in here. This is usually the worst part for me, especially since. He's been sealed up, taped up and stuff, and the the, uh, the tires really close together, so you want to make sure it doesn't pop it. So we might try to stand it up, make sure we can get it over without it popping through. Okay, that feels good there. You just don't want the tire to come up and pinch. So what we're going to do is put... I just knock you out. Nope. Just put a little air in her. So I'm gonna put it down so it can rest. We'll just put a little air and then we'll check it. Okay, there's a that's a little air. Yeah, I think we look good there. I think we're good there. So far, so good. And make sure you never put your fingers into between the rim and the tire, or you're gonna have a really bad day. Hey, so we're good there. I don't see. I don't see tube there. And I don't see tube there, so let's give it a little bit more. Okay, that's tire. Make sure we don't have a pinch anywhere. I think we're looking kind of good. And you'll see this end up popping up. Since this has a tube in it, it's usually not as dramatic on the tires that don't have um, that don't have tubes. And I probably should have used some soap. I forgot all about that. It has been a while since I've. Uh... See, I'm gonna get some soap real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I will soap. Well, where's the water? I just put there we go. That should help it a little bit. How the back's looking. Got one little section on the back that needs to pop. And we'll check and see what we got. Shouldn't be too much yet. 
Right, we got 12 in there. Side of the tire says max load at 40 PSI. We're not going to run 40. Well, before I was rudely interrupted by the air compressor. All right, so it says max is 40. I don't know if I was talking before that. We're definitely not putting that in because we don't have anywhere near that weight. I just have it at 28 right now, and it's dead on 28, so I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then see. But I did hear that final pop, so we're uh, sealed up everywhere. But dang, I mean, that's not a cool-looking tire. Heck yeah, man. Warning, do not stack or lean tires where any part of the black rubber touches the white rubber. Well, we don't have that issue. Again, these are 750-16s, Firestone. I think I got these from, where did I get these from? I know the tubes came from Coker. Uh, I think these might have too. I'll have to look and see, but heck yeah. All right, so there's one done three more to go i think now that i know how these go together since they're tight it should be a little bit easier so i'll speed this up quite a bit Sometimes I told you how the tube will get pinched between the tire. That's why you need to check it. If you can see right here, the tip of that, right there, there, it's pinched. So the easiest way to do it without damaging the tube is reverse it, push down on the tire, and with your other blunt section, just kind of tap it down into the hole. And it should want to align with itself. Otherwise, if you try to do it, it's going to pinch it, and you're going to have to start all over. All right, I think we're good there. Let's keep going.
Well, tires are mounted, so you know what that means. Let's see what it looks like. Look at those. Um, if you remember on the odds and end video when we did this, we marked a V for where our valve stem was going to be. Try to help line these up. Um, so hopefully <laughs> that works. Let's see here. Where's the valve stem? Ha <laughs> ha! I got you, sucker. And let's see. That you there? Oh, that's two. What's the odds? Odds are good. Sweet. Now I kind of went with the brass hardware for these. Um, Actually, they're going to be a little long. The, uh, the instructions said three eighths, but I'm going to have to knock some of them off just because I can already feel that we're hitting the, the tire behind it. But anyway, you can, you'll get the idea of this and uh, of what it'll look like. <laughs> Dang, that looks good. Oh, but I was saying, I <laughs> an idiot. I put the brass hardware on here so it matches like the grade eights and the other brass hardware and stuff that we're getting on here. And remember, if you have like a 36 Ford with the longer spindles, you need to order the deep dish of these. They have a, a shallower one and then the deeper one. These are the deepers. Oh man, that looks cool. All righty. I mean, that's almost, just barely sticks out. Just a smidgen. We have a roller so that's freaking awesome uh love the look of the tires the rims turned out great it looks awesome with the aluminum covers on it um i haven't put all of them on yet the brass hardware was a little too long so i ordered some they literally just showed up um but i'm really not worried about putting those on right now i don't want to ding them or mess them up um but we know what it looks like and that looks freaking cool 
I have it on the dollies right now so I can get in and out because um, eventually I'm going to have to flip this back around again uh, once I get done with the shifting mechanism, which is on this side. Give me a little bit of room because there's not a lot of room on that side. Um, then we'll switch it around and then the whole cockpit, stuff like that we can worry about. So um, don't mind this missing part here. Uh, that might be the next video. We'll see. Uh, anyway, really excited that it's, the tires are done. My hands still hurt from putting those stupid tubes in. The, the sidewalls are so tight, but whatever, it's done. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we just hit 300 subscribers. Ha, ah, yeah, man, what do you think of that? Not a lot, but hey, I don't have 300 friends. I only think I have five friends, so 300 ain't bad. We're getting there very slowly, but uh, all the comments have been great and all the likes, so keep those up. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's good motivation to keep everything going. So, we got a roller. Heck yeah, I like it. That's it, man. Uh, I guess I think the shift mechanism is next. Fingers crossed how that one goes. I think that's Besides the, uh, the torque tube drive shaft modification, I think the shifting mechanism might be pretty tough. Um, but there's only one way to find out, right? So we'll give it a whirl. Uh, worst case, we'll stick it in third gear and start off slow. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next Friday. Have a good one.